Today is my friend's wedding. Her girl is hungover. <laughs> Like I can just see the eye rolls. <laughs> yeah, this is like harder than getting Beyonce tickets at this point. Got a little yellow cab. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm feeling very underwhelmed. Sometimes I forget that these things are going on the internet. Hey. Thing. So let's kick off with a very small, well is it small? I'll show you. A little grocery haul, shall we? So I got this Pizza Express American, American pizza, I thought it was Americano. They are 50% off and Evan likes these so I picked one up for him. I got some Slim Bagels. One of you actually mentioned that Alpro does an oat vanilla milk and I'm literally on the hunt for it. Or was it soy vanilla? I can't remember, but they didn't have it. But they did have the no sugars oat and I was looking at the macros and it's not too bad for oat milk, 40 calories for 100 milliliters. So I thought that I would try this out with my afternoon matcha. I'm very excited to try that. I got some egg whites. I'm officially back on my Zoom when it comes to healthy eating. So I am getting through these a little bit quicker. These have gone up. When I first started buying these, I think they were three pounds, which is already quite expensive. And now they're 375. Not happy about that. I also picked up some really fancy salts. I like to cook with sea salt because table salt, a lot of the minerals that are actually good for you in salt or removed from table salt so i like this salt it is a hundred percent sea salt this brand so if you have it i really like it and i really I, they also had some different ones like i've never seen this in my shop so they had a garlic salt i thought that could be really good with eggs and they also had a truffle salt so i you already know i'm gonna try these with my eggs when you're eating egg whites I am mixing it with normal eggs, by the way, but I feel like when you're eating eggs every day, sometimes it just gets really repetitive. So I'm hoping that these different salts can like add a different pizzazz to it. I also picked up this. I really liked these the last time I tried them out. I'm planning on making a turkey, bacon, and egg breakfast sandwich this morning. And this has really good macros. I stopped buying this because I thought that it was breaking me out, but now I think that it was actually my skincare at the time so we're going to try this out again it's only 43 calories per slice the macros are really good three carbs three grams of fat it's basically just coconut oil and it tastes pretty good and it melts really good so if you have this around you i would i really like it so it adds a nice flavor to your breakfast and then of course i picked up some turkey bacon this is the oak Park range. I've only been able to find this in Waitrose. However, I do know that Little has their own brand of turkey rashers. That's what we get here. We don't get proper turkey bacon here, but these are good. You just have to make sure that you actually pan fry them. They're not good if you put them in the oven or put them in the air fryer, but they're not bad if you pan fry them. I also got some cleaning products. I have a cleaner come in once a week. She likes to use the chemical stuff, <laughs> which I'm not mad at. 
I need to clean this because um, I got some, well, I'll show you what I got that stained all of this. But yeah, she said that she needed some more Viacal and she also wanted me to pick up some Sif cream cleaner. So I got a couple of those. I actually really like Viacal. I'm not even going to like hate. I like to use this in the evenings when I'm like cleaning up. It really helps with lime scale and it's getting off like streaky stuff, but I already know like this stuff is so toxic, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's fine. What can I say? Maybe you need some chemicals every now and again. I also saw this and I thought this was quite interesting. This is the Waitrose Moroccan style couscous. I actually went into the office this week and I got like a salad bowl that had some couscous and grains. And honestly, like around this time of year, the weather started to get cooler. The heat wave literally lasted for one week. But anyway, I'm, I'm, ha I'm so happy that we even got it. They had the salad bowl that had like couscous grains mixed in with the lettuce and it was warm and it was really, really nice. And actually, no, the salad wasn't warm, actually, that's not true. But there was something about all of this in the salad that made it quite filling and just more Moorish. And so I'm having a salad at some point, maybe if not for lunch, maybe for dinner. So I thought that I would add a little bit of this to it just to like bulk it up a bit. And then I picked up this salad dressing. I was in the salad dressing aisle for ages because I was trying to find one that had good macros. The salad dressing that I was using before is so high in calories. <laughs> and because I wasn't scanning back then, I didn't even realize. This brand, I find, anyway, that the servings are quite good. It's 33 calories for a 20 milliliter serving, which is pretty good as far as dressings go. I honestly should have got two because they don't always have this on the shelf. But it's like four pounds for this. So a part of me is also like, maybe you need to just find a way to make your own dressing and save some money. But anyway, I got some Nando's pair, um, Perinades and the jam. I love this stuff. This was what was leaking all over. I ended up putting it in this flower bag. I decided to get some kimchi. Let's see if I can wipe this off actually. I'm trying to improve my gut health. I know there's like so much like, I can just see the eye rolls. <laughs> gut health is one of those things that I just think is such a buzzword, but I do think that we all know the importance of like eating fermented foods. It's good to, it's good for you. Let's not go down the whole rabbit hole. I think we can all agree. I have kombucha daily. I have fermented soya yogurts. If you guys watch my vlogs quite often. And another thing that's kind of in that category is kimchi. However, I don't like kimchi, so I don't usually eat it. But I noticed that they have some different sorts of kimchis now so this is the beet kimchi i'm gonna try that the original kimchi is made from um cabbage i think it's a chinese dish and it's made from cabbage with like a bunch of spices and it's fermented this is like the similar type of vibe but it's made from beets why i thought i might like this better is because beets are a bit sweeter so my whole plan really is just to like have a dollop of this along the side of whatever i'm eating so like in the morning i might just have a bit of this with my breakfast bagel although i think it might be a bit more tolerable in the afternoon so maybe i'll have this with lunch or dinner i'm just really trying to make sure that i'm getting a, a, a good amount of probiotics in every day i forgot to get some berries i knew i was gonna forget something i also like want to start eating my yogurt pots in the evening Oh, and I wanted to get dates. Gosh, I forgot quite a few things. Okay, that's fine. I'll just write it down. So that was my whole haul and everything came to 52 pounds. And then I had a couple of vouchers, so it was like 50. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got in this haul. This week we have quite a bit going on. I had my hair retie yesterday. But when I was going to Pilates this morning, I realized that one of my locks, this one right here, I don't know what happened to it. But if you look at this whole bit, it's loose, <laughs> which is really annoying because I'm going to have to go back in for them to repair it. You can probably see it around there, but it's loose around here anyway. So I'm going to have to go back in for them to repair it. <sighs> very, very annoyed about that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do it. That's why I'm annoyed about it. I have a wedding on Saturday. The wedding is finally here guys and now i can actually tell you what i'm doing i'm actually giving a reading while well, doing a reading reading a reading in the wedding so i've been practicing <laughs> for that 
but yeah it's been a full-on week already like i said i went to the office i had my hair retied so it has actually been quite a full-on week my phone charm's still going strong if you guys watched last week's vlog you would have seen that i made this i'm just checking my calendar to see if there's anything else that is happening i don't know why i thought that that, that there was a lot happening but oh yeah the new iphones come out tomorrow well the pre-order for the new iphones open tomorrow so i think i've mentioned in last week's vlog i am planning on upgrading to the iphone 15. i currently have the iphone 13. And in all honesty, the only reason why I really want to upgrade is because I need a better camera. I noticed such a huge difference between the 13 and the 14. I really, really wanted to upgrade like halfway through the year. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Just wait for the new one to come out. So apparently the 15 even has a better camera than the 14. So because I create content and I vlog on my phone a lot, like sometimes when I don't want to take my camera, I take my phone. So I'm really hoping that the new iPhones have a really good camera because I can see such a clear difference between my iPhone quality and my phone quality. So, and my camera quality, so. I actually ordered a walking pad. Oh yeah, there been quite a few updates behind the scenes. I ordered a walking pad. That was supposed to have arrived on Tuesday. I don't know what is going on with it, but hopefully it arrives soon so I can start walking um, more. I've been trying to hit at least 5K steps a day and going for walk walks on my lunch break. I've actually done it a couple times this week and it's helping, I definitely think it's helping, but I'm hoping that when I have the walking pad, it'll just help me go even further. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to officially be back on my Zoom as the cool kids say. But yeah, I'll pick you guys up later. I'm just about to make my breakfast. It's There's a time and a place for all this. This is not the place for all this. Is there a reason why you're saying all this? And can we talk about it later? I've got to ride my own. With you is my I belong. Hi, you guys. You've been Friday. Gosh, today's Friday. I have been walking on my walking pad for like, not like, I'm walking on my walking pad for the past half an hour and I'm happy to report that I think it's very cool. <laughs> it's very, very cool. Sorry, what am I doing? Sometimes I forget that these things are going on the internet, like this vlog. Anyway, hi. You guys hopefully would have seen me unboxing my walking pad. I actually think that it was out of frame the whole time but I'll show it to you anyway. I picked up this walking pad from Debenhams and I just put it here underneath my standing desk so this is what my setup looks like at the moment. Loads of wires which are really really annoying me. I've been thinking about buying a standing desk for a really long time. I think it's something that I've known could really solve my issue with like getting my steps in but I didn't want to buy it because I just felt like are you sure you're gonna use it you know what I mean like during lockdown I bought one of those bikes I bought a peloton <laughs> and they're all things that I ended up like getting rid of at home workout equipment is not really my bag but I felt like this would be a little bit different I decided to pull the trigger and buy it anyway because I've really been struggling to get my steps in like I was telling you guys a couple of vlogs ago and it's got to the point where I'm like at this point I'll just try anything I picked this one from Debenhams because it was 135 pounds which is the cheapest I've ever seen a walking pad for and I bought it because I thought it was going to be unbranded like the picture on the website showed that it was just plain black and now it's come it has the like red thing you guys would have seen the red label on the actual treadmill the red label on the top and I was very very annoyed but it's fine because it was very inexpensive and ultimately I didn't want to spend too much on it like they have ones that are foldable which is what I really would have wanted but those were like 350 pounds and I wasn't trying to spend that much on this, especially because I don't know if I'm really going to like it. So I'm actually keeping the box. I have 28 days to decide to return it or not, so we'll see. So far it's fine. I think if I'm not doing anything that requires concentration, I think it's fine. But earlier I was using it when I was responding to emails and it definitely takes a while to stay steady while you're walking if that makes sense like I almost felt like it was making me a little bit dizzy but I keep it really slow this one goes up to like 10 kilometers an hour I think and I have it on 2.5 so it's a very leisurely walk so slow to the fact that my Apple watch <laughs> doesn't even pick it up but Apple watches are not the most reliable for walking right because they kind of go with your hand motion so unless you're walking like this 
<laughs> your Apple Watch will pick it up. So it's very annoying, but I've ordered one of these like sports bands that should hopefully be able to fit around my ankle, which is something that I've seen another influencer do before. Her name is Kesha Collins. If you guys are not new here, I talk about her a lot. So I've ordered one of those. It should be coming tonight, hopefully, and that should help. Because I mean, the main reason why I bought this is because I want to be able to track how many steps I am taking a day and it's just not reliable because obviously my hands are going to be on my desk it's really just my feet and it's not recording it properly this treadmill tells you how long you've been walking for how many calories you've burned i think the total kilometers as well so that should also help me to be honest i can keep track of the total distance and that should help but ultimately i want to know in steps <laughs> okay i want to know in steps i have so many clothes on the bed because i really need to film a try on haul i've been so behind with my with my um content i actually had to put up an announcement that my thursday video yesterday would not go out which is the first time i've like missed an upload all year and i was really beating myself up about it at first but after a while i was like you have to kind of put things into perspective right i was putting myself under so much stress to like get that video done and it, it was no way it was going to get done and be a good video i just need to take some time to woosa and get back on top of my schedule so that i'm able to like put out content that i'm proud of instead of just like putting out content just to put it out i don't know how this became a, a talk about content but anyway <laughs> i have the walking pad and today is a full-on day so i actually need to go put my head down and get some work done but I wanted to show you guys my walking pad and say hello. Oh, I finished the watching Top Boy yesterday. Top Boy is kind of like the UK's answer to shows like The Wire and Snowfall, even though I've never watched any of those shows. But basically, it's like a drug show. And it was really, 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 really super popular here. So even if like it's not really your kind of thing, which typically it's not really my kind of thing, I somehow got sucked into it because the show is just super popular here. And... Uh, yeah, it was a series finale. Came out on Netflix. I thought it was quite underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. But it wasn't bad. I think as far as like TV shows go, a lot of the times they kinda end in a very anticlimactic way. Shout out to Hijack. And it's just hard I think to end a show in a way where everyone will be happy, but the ending to Top Boy was very um anticlimactic. I don't want to spoil it in case some of you still want to watch it, but I would recommend watching it just for the storyline up until the finale, if that makes sense. But yeah, I was underwhelmed. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I want to say hello. If you're curious, my sports bra is from Gymshark. I got it a while ago, so I don't know if it's still available. And my leggings are from Alpha Elite. I actually ended up ripping a pair of Alpha Elite leggings yesterday. I don't know what happened. I just sat down and I heard a rip. And I'm very annoyed. It was my um, rose color ones. Well, the ones that are like a maroony, pinky, mauvey color. Very, very annoyed. <sighs> I really hope I'm able to somehow salvage them. Because if that's the case, I'm not rebuying any more Alpha leggings ever again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am actually just about to look into ordering or pre-ordering the iPhone 15. This is what the homepage looks like. My screen's probably dirty, so apologies. I've never actually pre-ordered anything from Apple, so we're gonna see. Oh, I think I'm on the American website. No wonder the, um, the date was the wrong way around. You've got the iPhone 15, the iPhone 15. Pro, the iPhone 14, and the iPhone SE, so they don't even sell my iPhone anymore. It's quite rude. And I'm gonna go for the iPhone Pro Max, so that is like the larger screens, personally. And I was kind of going back and forth between getting the natural titanium color, which kind of looks like a light beigey gray, or the white, which is what I have now. I really can't decide. Like, this looks like a beige, but then I'm not sure if it's going to be beige or if it's just going to be silver. Whereas the white, I already know it's safe because that's what I have already. Oh yeah, I'm going to go with the white. That is nice though, but I'm going to go with the white. So we'll do the white titanium. 
And then I'm going to go with the cheapest storage because I pay for iCloud storage anyway, so I don't actually need, I don't need it to be that high. So now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to trade in my old phone or not. I think I'm going to suggest that I trade in my old phone. But then if I'm able to sell it for more privately, I'll just cancel the trade-in. Do I don't really want to wait until the 10th of October? If, if the phone's coming up next week, I'm not going to get it for one, two, three more weeks after it's come out. That seems a bit long. I don't really want to have to wait until October if I could get it sooner, to be very honest, because there's something quite exciting that's happening. <laughs> um, in October that I would want to have the new phone for specifically yeah I think I'm gonna wait until next Friday when it actually comes out in store and go to an Apple store and see if I can sort it out in store I think that's probably the best way to do this so yeah that's not happening anymore hey guys happy Saturday Today is my friend's wedding. I need to leave the house now. <laughs> uh, let me just see how long my Uber is gonna take to get here. Okay, so this is the dress that I showed you guys a couple of vlogs ago. I wanted to try to pin my hair like to the side like that, but the truth is I don't have anything that's gonna keep all my hair pinned and I haven't really given it I didn't really plan for it properly, so I'm just going to keep like sweeping it to the side because I really don't have too much time. I am going to look for some silver earrings. So a part of me actually wants to do these because I just think like these are a really nice statement and they're different. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, even though they're a little bit heavy, but I think it'll be fine. I think that's it. I don't really have too much silver jewelry, to be honest. I'm going to wear my Ego Magda Boutram dupes. I'm going to put those on, but I'm also going to take my foldable flats because these shoes are not comfortable whatsoever. So if I can make it to the reception, I'll be very happy. Perfume, perfume. I think I'm going to go with Halfetti in Cairo. I need something that's going to last all day and smell delicious. Put behind my legs. I've heard that's also like a thing. And I'm going to put some in my hair. And then I'm going to do the same with Halfetti. And with Halfetti, I actually have a travel fragrance. I'm going to take that. And then I'm also going to take my lip products I'm hoping this will all fit in my bag this is the bag <laughs> I'm really hoping I can get like some footage at the wedding I want to at least get a nice photo we'll see how that goes why is this not opening okay let's cut the tag and see my I'm gonna have to make sure my underwear is not on show. So these are my foldable flats. I'm pretty sure once I put that in, that's all that's gonna fit. My cousin actually gave these to me. And they're so handy for days like this. I don't know. I feel like I'm holding too much stuff. <laughs> this is the final look. It all came together in the end. I'll try and get some photos and some pictures when I'm outside. But this is what it looks like with my bag. I'm gonna call my Uber and I'll do whatever recording I can do on my phone. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm.
heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper, bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgiving each other. If one has a cause for complaint against another, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. Beyond all these things, put on and wrap yourselves in unselfish love, which is the perfect bond of unity. For everything is bound together in agreement, with each one seeks the best for others. girl is hungover <laughs> oh my gosh hi 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 you guys it is sunday i'm still in bed it is also 3 30 o'clock is i even right english i don't know i've been in bed all day i actually woke up around eight was up for a couple hours went back to sleep up again to put my vlog up and yeah i've just Today's definitely a lazy day. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start and tell you guys about the wedding yesterday. The wedding was beautiful. I don't think I have a lot of footage because we were asked not to film during the actual ceremony. After the ceremony, I was just catching up with people and then we all went to like a house party after that. Didn't get home till like two o'clock in the morning, maybe even later. And if you know anything about me, that's very unlike me, okay? I had champagne yesterday, I had gin yesterday, I had rum yesterday, I think I even had some Hennessy. I don't know what was going on, but I had such a good time. The wedding was beautiful. It was so nice, such an intimate, beautiful ceremony. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I had a really good time. And I, the reading, oh my gosh, I, I, I would have put in the clip of the reading. One of my friends recorded me with the reading. It's so funny, right? Because while, the whole time I wasn't nervous, I was actually very excited about the reading. And then, when i got to the ceremony i realized that there was a really small like well a really quite a significant step it was a platform and i had to like stand on the platform to speak right and there's nothing you can lean on or rest your hand on or anything so that was a little bit nerve-wracking like how am i gonna get up this step and down this step in my dress and my high heels and you guys know how it is like movements restricted in some of these clothes that we like to wear okay i was the second reading so the woman that did the first reading she looked like she got up and down no problems so, okay i'm gonna be fine i got onto the stage and when i turned around like adjusted my dress <laughs> and like faced everyone to start the reading, I started to suddenly feel really nervous and it was just very unexpected. <laughs> and I was like, just breathe, just slow down, just breathe, just slow down. And the last sentence, I actually messed up a word. But that's because my hand started to shake. And I was like, why is my hand shaking? Like, there was a whole thing going on in my head. But I think I did a really good job. If I do say so myself, you guys could tell me what you think. But in the end, I managed to get off the platform safely and everything went well. Like, the wedding was so much fun, like, I don't even remember eating. I remember having a couple of puff puff, some spring rolls during, like, the cocktail hour. And then I think I had, like, two or three bites of jollof rice, and that's all I ate. Like, I was just chatting the whole time. After the wedding, the um, MC, <laughs> my friend Ayo, <laughs> announced that we could take the centerpieces home. So I actually took two. So I have them right here now one on the dining table and i've put the other one over there and they're so lovely they're like roses baby's breath i think these are hydrangeas if i'm not mistaken but yeah they're so pretty that's been me i've slowly come out of my hibernation you guys i'm just like cooking some chicken in the oven so i can finally make myself something to eat i haven't had anything to eat all day and like i said it's past three i've just I've just been hydrating. I got a couple of things from Amazon, but I'm not gonna bother showing you them because I think I'm gonna send a lot of them back 
I'll show you what I'm keeping. I mentioned to you guys that I was looking for a strap that would fit over my ankle. I ordered this from Amazon and it's great because it's really elasticy. So this goes over my ankle really easily. So when I'm walking on my walking desk or my walking pad, it's fine. And then if I need to put it on my wrist and adjust the strap, it's just a matter of adjusting this clip right here. So this is really handy. The first one that I bought didn't work. So this is great. I'm going to link this down below. And then I got these are those like circle like sticker dots that you put on your pimples and apparently they help to get rid of them. I've seen so many people using these for ages and I get a spot around here pretty much as clockwork during my cycle and it's really annoying so I thought that I would try this out the next time. Hopefully I don't ever get it back but I just wanted to try this out the next time I do have a spot so I picked that up from Amazon. I'll link this down below as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to just go back to laying down and I'll pick you guys up when I'm making my lunch. I think I'm going to make a wrap because I don't have too much left in terms of groceries. Like I did so well last week with my eating, guys, because I bought so much produce. I had so much vegetables, salads, and everything I ate. Like nothing went bad or anything, which is just amazing. I'm really proud of myself for that. So I need to go to the stores probably not today now to be very honest probably tomorrow and just replenish all of my fruit and my veg okay so i toasted my little wrap thing for too long <laughs> so it's going to be like a flat bread as opposed to a wrap now put some bell pepper my chicken and then just a little bit of kimchi so because i toasted it for too long i can't fold it <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna eat it with a fork and knife. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just, it would have been better as a wrap, but it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna make myself a matcha and go back and lay down. <laughs> Good morning, 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 good morning. I don't know how to end song. Hi, happy Monday, you guys. As you can see, I went to the gym this morning. I had a really good workout. I ended up doing a full body workout today which I think I'm gonna start doing because typically I have a lower body as my first gym workout of the week. And then my second gym workout is usually upper body and then by the time the end of the week comes along, I'm more likely than not to skip the full body workout. But I think if I switch it, the way my mind works, like lower body is actually my favorite day. So if I switch it, I think I'm more likely to make sure I don't skip the lower body day. So I'm more likely to do my three sessions trick yourselves people trick yourselves so i went to little after and i picked up a couple of things that i need let's do a quick grocery haul i got some asparagus i got two of these i got some hummus apples bananas two heads of broccoli some tangerines, easy peelers. There's so much like junk in the background, so just pretend you can't see it, it's fine. And then I got a honeydew melon and a gallia melon. And then I got some cucumbers because cucumbers and hummus. We're back on our healthy grind, guys. And then I got a bunch of protein. So I got two salmon steaks sea bass and this has a thai butter on it which sounds really good a red thai butter so i'm actually going to make this tonight we'll see how that comes out and then i got some prawns because i had a really nice prawn wrap last week and then i got red grapes one of the black grapes are actually sweeter than the red grapes so i get i got these last week i think i'll stick to these for a while and those are great for the end of the night when you want something sweet i got some sausages these are for evan 
And then I got some turkey mince because I want to make some pasta. And then I got some spinach. So a pretty healthy haul. Like I told you guys, like your girl's back, your girl's back. I still need to go to Waitrose though and get all my like specialty things, but I just want to pick up some protein and some produce. So that's where we are. I'm going to arrange everything so you can see it easier and then I'll tell you guys how much it is. I love like hearing from you guys in America. I feel like the price of groceries in America is so high because every time I tell you guys the price, you're always like, oh, that's so cheap, that's so cheap. <laughs> I think Aldi is technically the cheapest supermarket in the UK. I think they won some award for that. So that's good to know because that's where I predominantly shop. <laughs> okay, so this is today's haul. Very, very small but full of a lot of goodness. So, there we go. Everything came to 48.57, which is amazing, because I bought so much meat. Like these alone are about nine pounds each, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Uh, yeah, 8.29 each. This is predominantly going to be the base of everything that I end up eating this week. Um, like I said, I'll have some wraps. I'll make some pasta with the lean turkey mince. And then with the fish, I'll have it with either sweet potato fries or roast potatoes with vegetables on the side for everything. I just need to go to Little because they do the salad that I like. So I'll also have salad and chicken, which you guys, I've showed you guys so many times. And those are like the sorts of meals that I'm eating right now. I like them because they're helping me to stay within my macros because I'm back to tracking. And so far, everything is going well. You know, I just need to stay disciplined and stay on top of it. <laughs> That's the thing about me. Like every day, I'm just like praying, God, keep me consistent, keep me dedicated, keep me motivated because I need to see results, okay? <laughs> I need to see results. Hey guys. I just finished walking for an hour on my walking pad and the new ankle strap works perfectly. Whew, let me show you. I hope you can see, but that's what it is around my waist, my ankle, and it recorded all my steps. So I was able to do about 5,000 steps in an hour while I was working, just walking at a really slow, leisurely pace, same 2.5 that I showed you guys last time. And it was honestly fine. I think cause it's quite slow. I was able to do my work and I wasn't feeling dizzy the way I was saying I was feeling dizzy the first time I tried it. So this is really, really good. Like it's good for work that you don't need to be super focused on. So like editing, emails, like graphic design, that kind of thing. I think this is really, really good. So essentially I've worked out that at that pace, I need to do an hour of walking, well, two hours of walking in order to get 10K steps. And then obviously like around the house and my everyday like walking, I should be able to get my steps in, but this is amazing. Like this is actually going to be a game changer for me. I'm so happy. It's been damn near impossible to get my steps in, but with this, I think it's going to be so much easier because I literally do things like editing for at least two hours a day, every single day. So if I can walk while I edit, like that's going to be a complete game changer. I wanted to show you guys my lunch. Gosh, look at how dark it is today. Oh my gosh. So this is the chickpea pasta that I showed you guys from earlier in the week and I've just steamed some broccoli on the side. And then this is my lamb ragu that I made several weeks ago. I froze quite a bit, so I've just been making my way through it. So this is my lunch. I'm gonna go eat this and I'm drinking water. <laughs> so yeah, this is lunch.
I've been looking for you. <laughs> Hi. First things first, I thought that we would have some breakfast and catch up because I have not seen you guys all week. I think the last time I vlogged was on Monday, maybe. So yeah, I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Let's get started with what I'm having for breakfast. I have my Stanley cup full of water. This has honestly been amazing. I know like there's a lot of hype around these. So what I will say is if you are thinking about getting one, just get one. I think it's absolutely worth it. I think that it will make you drink more water. It's definitely made me drink more water. I like that I'm easily able to know how much water I'm drinking because it's such a big bottle. Like I'm filling it at least twice a day and it keeps your water cold, which for someone like me, it's really, really a big deal. If, if anything, it's led to a bit of an ice shortage problem <laughs> because I fill it with like a whole tray of ice and it's just like, there's no more ice in the house. So yeah, it's, it's great. I don't think that the claims about the ice lasting for like two days are right. I don't know about that. I haven't experienced that, but I'm very, very, very happy. This is a Stanley cup and cream. I'll have it linked down below. And then for breakfast, I'm having some of my soya based Alpro Greek yogurt and some protein granola. I found out that this little baby is one serving of granola. So it's really, really good for helping me stay on track. And then I serve it in this little ramekin because if I put what is a serving in a bowl, it looks like a baby serving. So this is a nice way to like mentally trick yourself. And honestly, it's very filling. It's just one of those things where like, if I put it in a bigger size bowl, it's just, you, you have to trick yourself. I feel like I've said this before. And then I have like, some melon and um, my coffee, black coffee with uh, one serving of collagen and protein. I'm so excited to be vlogging guys. I feel like I haven't picked you guys up because there really hasn't been much to fill you in on. Like this week, I really just wanted to put my head down and just get on with focusing if that makes sense i know that i spoke a lot about getting back on my zoom and literally like this week i was working out monday to friday no breaks i went to the gym three times a week did all my strength training workouts went to pilates twice a week so i've just been you know super early in the morning straight to the gym coming back my walking pad has been a complete game changer i'm hitting 10k steps every single day i am loving it i think i'll do like more of a full-on review after some time but obviously i know it's still new so i'm excited but it's amazing i'm able to just walk and do my work and when i tell you like i'm not dizzy it's not distracting if anything i think it makes me work harder i think it like forces me to concentrate and there was one day where i was really tired so i didn't do any walking during the day but then after work i just put it on and watched like episodes of real housewives and i watched two episodes of real housewives and um i was able to hit 10k steps i had obviously done some walking around that around beforehand but it's just been a complete game changer and i feel my body being tired previously like the only other time where i would hit my 10k steps is if i go into the office and that feeling of like walking around the city and coming back home and feeling tired like i felt that tired like every single day all week and i think that's another reason why i haven't vlogged very much because i've just been so tired i've just been concentrating on doing what i need to do to get my body to adjust to all of this increased activity and of course, staying on top of my meals. Honestly, I've just been eating the same thing every single day. So there hasn't really been much to show you in terms of meals. I've showed you guys my breakfast bagel so many times. I have that pretty much most days. Although there was one day this week where I had some granola, not granola, um, some oatmeal, which I've also showed you guys. I think, honestly, like when I'm kind of like fully back into the swing of things and I start seeing results, I might do another what I eat in a day. But for now, I really just want to hone in and not talk too much about it until I actually like start to see results. I just meal prepped a bunch of chicken, a bunch of salmon, and I've been eating that with like sweet potato fries or pasta or um, like a wrap. I made a really good wrap actually that I probably should have showed you guys. Maybe I'll show you guys that in next week's vlog because that's been actually one of my more favorite meals. But yeah, it's been great. I'm really focusing on making sure that I'm getting a lot of fruit and vegetables, a lot of protein, and 
I'm just really, really enjoying feeling like I've pushed my body. Like I'm pushing my body and I'm really enjoying that feeling. And I'm really, 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 really determined to get my routine in lock before like proper winter comes because it's really hard for me to like build any sort of momentum once the winter comes. But if I'm locked into a routine before, I think it'll be easier to hold on to it. That's at least what I think. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Most times, like when winter rolls around, like any progress I've made is just dead until next spring. And I can't keep doing that. Like I can't keep doing the cycle. I'm really, really determined this year to like stay consistent. What else can I fill you guys in on? I did a little bit of mango ordering, so I'll show you guys what I got from mango when we go back to the room. Oh, I got a new camera lens. Ah, uh, yes, that's something I possibly could have showed you guys. If you watch my fall fashion trends video, that was the first video that I ever filmed with the lens. I also want to film a makeup video today just to test out the lens. I got the Sigma, it's such a long, like, name i'll just link it down below but it's basically the sigma i think 18 to 35 millimeters f 1.8 sigma art lens i've wanted this lens for years i think anyone that's into youtube knows that that's like a very very commonly used lens in this space but it's been one of those things that has just always been super expensive and i've always kind of kept my eye on it the pricing of it if that makes sense and i've told you guys i use this website called camel 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 recently i got an alert that it had been discounted and i went to check and it was actually the lowest price that it had ever been in years so i decided to order it because amazon is amazing and you know i have 28 days to test it out and i feel i've only filmed one video on it so today i want to try and film a couple more so that i can see if i really have a need for it i feel like it's the kind of lens that i'll get so much use out of when i'm in a different space my current filming setup is very small in terms of like the actual like dimensions it's like a very tight space so i sometimes i almost feel like my current lens like the new lens might be too wide for my space but I can also play around with it. That's the great thing about it because it has a, a different like focal length. So I'm going to play around with it and just see. I'm probably going to keep it to be honest because I do think that it's one of those lenses that it's like over 10 years old and people still talk about it like it just came out yesterday. It's amazing. And I'm really feeling like I've made some good investments into my camera equipment setup this year. Like it's getting to that point where like I don't actually really need anything else except if I want to just completely like, I don't know, scrap Canon and go over to Sony, that would be the only reason why I would need to, or maybe I could get another camera actually, but I don't need it to be very honest. Let's eat. I don't know how people do mukbangs. I find it so hard to talk and eat. And I'm conscious that I have yogurt. <laughs> We might have to pick up this conversation later, guys. I'm just not able to talk and eat. But this vlog has to end today. Like, I've never been in this position since I started weekly vlogging to where this vlog needs to go out tomorrow and I'm still vlogging today. Like, normally, at this point, this vlog would already be on YouTube just waiting to hit publish. <laughs> so I'm really, really cutting it close. We'll see at what point um, I start vlogging today, but the vlog has to end today. So if it's a little bit shorter than it usually is, I apologize. Sometimes, you know, you just have to live life off of the vlogs, but I will get back on top of my vlogging schedule with the following week. There's a lot coming up this week that, again, I can't vlog. I have a couple of funeral-related events to attend, and, um, yeah, I have to, like, work the vlog around all of that. So, like, today I have a service of songs and um, some other events to attend next week, so it's just... We'll have to see how things go over the next few weeks to be very honest but hopefully uh we can pick up the usual schedule of vlogs eventually but i am determined to make sure that a vlog goes out every sunday whether it will be an hour long or not is to be determined <laughs> but that is my commitment that i've made to you guys and i'm gonna stick to it okay and i'm still trying to get a new iphone oh gosh the iPhone stress. I was actually able to find one yesterday, but it would have meant going to Cambridge. 
and I'm really regretting not getting it. Like at the time that just felt a bit silly, like why would you go all the way to Cambridge? But then I mentioned it to my friend and she's like, Cambridge is like a 40 minute train ride. And I didn't think about it like that. I just thought about it like, oh, Cambridge. And then by the time I went back, it's sold out in Cambridge now. Now the only place where I can get the iPhone that I want is in Edinburgh. <laughs> which is a four and a half hour train ride and I am not doing that for an iPhone like absolutely not so I just keep refreshing and hoping that they'll release more um yeah I just didn't expect it to be this difficult I've never tried to get an iPhone like right when they come out like this ever but yeah it's just like harder than getting Beyonce tickets at this point so it's very very interesting the main reason why I'm like so determined to get the new iPhone is because I want to have it for the Usher concert. I really don't want to have to wait until November, which is the official date when they're dropping. If I place an order today, I won't get it until November. And that will be way after the Usher concert. So I'm just like, oh my God, I need one to come soon. <laughs> but yeah, we'll keep seeing. I mean, we might have an iPhone adventure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into a city and just walk into a random Apple shop and be like, hey, do you have any iPhones? I'm thinking about trying that today before I go to the um, service of songs. So we'll see how things go, but yeah, let me finish up eating and then we can get started with the actual day. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys, like what I got from Mango. I picked up this clutch bag. Melissa's wardrobe posted it, and as you guys already know, <laughs> all her recommendations sold out. I actually was hoping that this would come in time for my friend's wedding, but it came... Mango's delivery is really slow. Like, let me know if you're based in the UK if you experience the same thing. I feel like their delivery is exceptionally slow. But, um, yeah, this came maybe two or three days after the wedding. I will say, this is one of those bags that looks like it's better quality than it actually is. It does feel quite flimsy, um, especially compared to how heavy-duty the acrylic from cult gaia feels like this feels very plasticky so um i'm gonna keep it because i think it's good for 50 pounds <laughs> but yeah just bear that in mind i don't think it's the best quality i also got it in a couple of the colors but i think i'm gonna send those back so i'll show them to you anyway another thing that's worth mentioning is that they don't come with a dust bag like the clutch bags from Zara come with the, I can't talk today, the clutch bags from Zara come with the dust bag, whereas these just come in plastic, which is not the best, and a box. This is the colour I'm thinking about keeping, it's like a really pretty tortoise shell. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this. The more I look at it, the more I enjoy it. I think this is a really interesting bag. I'm just thinking about like when I would wear it. Because it's a clutch bag, it'll obviously be an evening bag. Like, what colour would my evening dress be that I would reach for this? I think that's what I'm trying to determine. It also comes with a chain, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really wear it with a chain, to be honest with you. But yeah, I got it in this colour. And then I also got it in the gold. But this was my least favourite one. Because... It's got this glitter detail that I really don't like. It just looks like a lot. It's like a confetti trapped in acrylic. I wish it was just a metallic gold as opposed to like a confetti gold. So yeah, I think I'm gonna send both of these back actually. I don't really have a need for them. I also think these bags are very small considering so zara has a gold version of the silver clutch which i think i would like a lot better than this i'm just gonna wait for that to come back in stock and this honestly i don't know what i would wear this with like this would just be a styling like for a picture type of thing i can't see myself actually wearing it it's so small <laughs> i don't know we're thinking about it but i will keep the white one i think the white one is the most versatile so yeah that's what I got from Mango. I'll have everything linked down below. So now I'm going to set up for my filming. 
setting up to film takes such a long time like shout out to all my fellow content creators who understand the struggle so i need to clear up and uh yeah start filming because i need to get a move on not understand how there's no battery this is my outfit let me just quickly show you because apparently my foot battery is about to die i have my white jeans from abercrombie these boots are i think from mango and i'm wearing my kate cardigan and i'm also going to take this bag my celine bag and i i'm contemplating taking a trench coat even though it looks a bit warm so i possibly will not bother and for fragrance of the day, I'm wearing Coco Mademoiselle. And I also mixed it with Santal Blush by Tom Ford. And it smells delicious, if I do say so myself. This is what my face looks like. I did my makeup. I actually filmed this look. So if the footage comes out okay, you will see it. <laughs> guys i made it to this exhibition i was trying to tell you about it when my phone died so we're at this new york exhibition in canary wharf it looks really packed so i'm going to show you what i can look at that welcome to new york this is very cute even got a little yellow cab. I'm feeling very underwhelmed <laughs> like I saw this on TikTok and they made it sound really cool <laughs> but that's literally it there's like a school bus a taxi and like a bunch of street signs <laughs> so um, yeah very underwhelming I'm happy I came anyway I'm gonna be in the area anyway but yeah this is <laughs> not what I was thinking it was gonna be <laughs>
I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. I'm just finishing up some editing, so fingers crossed this video actually goes live at the time that it's supposed to go live, which is three o'clock UK time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys next week with another weekly vlog. Bye.